All right, uh, this is going to be the last of our one-hour games. It rules as usual. Uh, everything in this game has to be either made by me or found for free on the internet um, within one hour. So far, mostly made by me. Um, <clears throat> today, we're going to be working on a little 1v1 fighting game. Um, because I hate setting realistic goals, um, apparently. So, um, let's get started in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little spike. Can you, damn it, you can see that. Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Break that. There we go. Square. We want a square. This is going to be the floor. Just get a nice box collider. And I don't know. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, now the main thing here is going to be the um, the actual characters, which I'm not really sure what to do about this. So we're gonna start with square, and we're just gonna make them. Um, We'll make them a... There we go, that'll do. Alright, um, and then we're gonna get BAM. Box Collider. And a Rigid Body. BAM! Okay, so... And it should fall over. Cool. Uh, before I forget, first of all, we're going to tag that as a player. Um, and then we're going to have ba -ba 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 constraints. There we go. He is not going to rotate. We do not want the players to rotate. Cool. Let's click um, player controller. And we're also going to do a little C sharp script. You let me. Um, clear settings. So this is the first time we're going to be using um, <coughs> what would you call it? Scriptable objects in this series. Yeah. Um, I'm going to real quick, uh, steal some code from something else I'm working on. And by that, I mean, double check how to make this be, um, <clears throat> uh, add this to the menu. No, we on. I always forget the syntax for that. We'll leave that for now. Okay. Um, next update. I'm going to have a move method. And we also need a tank method. Okay. So, um, move we're gonna wait cool um move is gonna be nice and straightforward for now we're just moving in one axis so, uh, oh yeah we want um Uh, 
I have no idea what they're uh, talking about. Um, It's raw. Um, spring, um, X access. Just so that we can have each of the two players uh, running separate controls without having to redefine everything. Okay. Um, load speed. And then I'll have X. Uh, what the fuck is that? All right. And equals uh setting still speed times time of delta time dot um da -da -da. Okay, um, so to test that, bam, right, our player, gets that, and we're going to create a new player settings, player one settings. Um, and the x axis is going to be redefined. Um, cool. I'll have to redefine some axes later to make it uh, work properly. Um, and the speed is going to be 1. Okay, so let's see how that works. There we go. Go in here and that's um, double. Well, triple the speed then. Huzzah, he moves. Cool. <clears throat> he move. Um, now we're going to have a driver. I'll make it public just so we can just for debugging purposes. Um, I'll make it float. I've got some ideas for the future, maybe. Health. Do I can I access player settings in a week? I don't know. Um so we'll go health start hit points. Cool. Um So what we want in here is we want to create a hurt box. Um, so we're going to create that in here. So we're going to add an empty game object. Uh, we're going to call it hurt box. Now we want this to be um,
that would do. Okay. And let me get a prefab. Uh, fuck it, let's just make that part of the player settings. Um, of like, uh, because again, I don't want to have to reassign these for each one. I'm not sure if that's the proper way to do it, but hey, or if it's the best way to do it, rather. Box Collider, that's going to be a trigger. Oh yeah, and we also want uh do 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 add tag uh, box. Cool. Uh no now. There you are. It's going to uh, on trigger and uh, who do? Um, and, uh, come on. Yeah, okay. Nice and straightforward for now. Okay, so, um, now what we want to do is get uh, the mouse's position relative to the thing. Because you want to, I think, you don't want to only be able to punch in the direction you're moving. Do you? Well, that's harder to track, so, um, mm, actually, is it? Yeah, how the fuck do you get a mouse position? You know what, we'll worry about that later, so, um... um yeah, that's... First thing we're going to do. Yes, well, and we're just going to destroy the thing. Okay, so pop back over to here. Player settings. Oh, yeah, that's the script. Player one settings. Uh, we're going to start hit points too. Um, we'll pop this hurt box there. So now, bam, he's going to take one and he's going to die. Cool. Turns out you get killed. Where are we? 50, we're a quarter of the way through. Great. You've got people can move, people can die. That's a good amount of the way through. Uh, I need, we need Hubbox controllers because we need to,
Come on, let's float. Uh, Fine. Put on a way. Um, can I go somewhere? Uh, we'll just do this one on update. Um, have time. Did I equal to? Love. Let's try. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I should have coffee, like, a good amount of time before this. Um, so if we make the prefab, so the time to live is not one one, tenth of a second. So if I run that, that one will disappear almost immediately. Yeah, cool. Because you don't want someone to punch you then. It'll be fine. Um, maybe you should only be... up for a frame. You know what? We can change it later if it turns out to be shit. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to... Game object. Uh, box. Close. Instantiate. Oh. Oh, settings. Dot. Uh, box. Um, parent is this. Like the three. We can go. Um, like Um, it's going to be transform the position transform Yeah, it's not good, okay? <laughs> And we're gonna do uh, if uh, oh wait no um um maybe I can access this just a oh I think I can right. Um, project settings, in the manager, that's graphics, that's X, file one. That doesn't really help me. Um, Oh, there we go. Left control, left alt, and left shift. Cool. So we can just get axes, and it's... Uh, 
Uh, so that's, we also then have um, string is access. Can I get a command? Back access. I don't, I don't really know what to do with this now. Um, okay. This is where we run into the thing where I'm like, I'm trying to work out how to <laughs> use it. Um, mouse button here, yeah, access to show whatever. Don't know the process. So it's only got a positive button, so it's just if it's greater than zero, I guess. Um, Uh, so we're just going to call it file one, which apparently is left control. Terrible controls, I know, but. Uh, input axis file one is not. Something. What? Oh, there's no space. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Sort of works. Uh, it turns out that um, multiple things trigger that. Oh, alternative um, positive button. Okay. Uh, okay, so we also want to have a attack cooldown. Um, not attack speed, attack. And then we're going to have a vote. Timer. Okay, so if it's gone past the cooldown time, so you're able to attack, and the attack triggers, then we go through this and we reset the timer, and regardless what happens, we add... Okay, cool. That works. Uh, it should work. And play one settings, attack, cooldown time. We'll make it one second.
course, if you hold it down, uh, you get the punch, but I'm not sure I care that much about that at the moment. Right. Um, I might change that at the input system for that. But, um, right, we also want you to not be able to get killed by your own hurt boxes, because at the moment, if you are fast enough, you can die to your own punches, which isn't good. Um, so we need hurt boxes to have a public um, player. Need them to have an owner. So I need a tag and an instantiate and this thing. Um, and how about start get component? Uh, box behavior and dot. Oh no. What is this? And here. And So it should only do it if the owner isn't you, and when you attack, you set your own the owner to you. There you go. Right now, we need to make a second player. Player is going to have to be. Um, Stick this in. Hmm. Play two. Play one. Move that there. Where are we at? We're two, halfway through. Okay. Um, you're going to make their attack axis. They're going to move at the same time. You know what? I haven't thought about this too carefully. Um, but it's fine. Um, bang, ba -ding, bang, bang. And we'll make player two blue. There we go. Don't know why... Oh, yeah, because they've got two health, haven't they? Punch. Punch. Okay. There are many suboptimal parts of this. Um, we are going to make uh, the pack cooldown a little bit faster. Um... Okay, so we've got to make sure that reference, um, no, not preference, we want project settings, that we want, All right, input manager. Okay, horizontal two. And vertical two. Now do the key on mouse movement, mouse button. Gravity is three.
Okay, so if we do horizontal two. Oh yeah, because they're not jumping yet, so that doesn't matter. Right. Hopefully now. We will have one, two, look at that, independently moving enemies who both attack when I hit left click. Do they both attack when I hit left click? No, because either one's got fire two, which I think is, oh, there we go. It can't actually attack, but hey. Um, cool, right. They move independently. That's all good. Uh, right, now we need to make it so that they can decide which side their hurt boxes are coming from. <laughs> Could it just be the way they're moving? Sod it. That's how it's gonna be. Um... First of all, we should have a, um, vector of three box upset. What if both of them are held down though? Could punch out both ways? Unintended consequence of me being lazy. Um, so... Yeah, sorry, we're gonna go um if um attack access to get or not attack access. X access, that's the one. Um, because we want it to be greater than zero. No, not correct. I'm not greater than. And now you can hit in both directions at once. Why not? <laughs> So how big are these things? That, so, five point five. Not point five. Okay, so let's see. Oh no, because if they're both pressed. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, that doesn't work. Although it doesn't break it, so I'm not going to fix it. Um, Okay, cool. I'll redo the controls later. Um, Let's make a block uh, function. Uh, 
Wait, is that gonna... I'm gonna get rid of that for now. Uh, block on answer is oh there we go. It knows what I want. Right, and then Um, Ugh. Oh, it's blocking. Uh, block. Block. Creation timer. Hey, this is great. Uh, is if it goes over, then 
just pop in the first class equals plus ah that was bad The cool down should only run if it's not blocking. Now, I've put this in for a separate thing for readability rather than uh, because I have to. Um, is blocking equals false and block. Um, else. Don't actually need an else for that. We need an else for here. Almost. Um, that should work. Oh yeah, then uh, two damage. Mm -hmm. F um not is blocking. Cool, oh, Chris, we're most of the way there. Okay. I'm gonna real quick change the uh, background color to black or white. No, black. Gray. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> um, yeah, that's good enough as a shield. And that's uh doesn't actually need anything on it it's just um oh yeah uh eh, yeah it should have a behavior for... okay we're just going to nope uh we're just going to copy that script rename it to Oh. Behavior. Um, uh, so build this. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, blah, blah, behavior. Dot, uh, with equals, uh, settings. Dot, block duration.
Ah, baby, you close. I'm not sure why that matters, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. Right, okay, so the block button uh, is going to be space for player one. We'll work it out later. Uh, he's going to get blocked for one second, and you can... Not a two second to turn. And then that's the block box. Oh. Is it not? Remember block box of player settings has not been what? Maybe it's player two triggering that, so... That's 78. Oh, now I'm confused, because it fucking looks like it's assigned. Not set to an instance of an object. And we'll make it a home, why not? Maybe that will fix it. It's just at seventy-eight. I am so confused. Ah. I guess if we make it a bit more explicit, then maybe it's not. It's. That's why. I'm trying to get it from myself. There we go. That's why we should do more explicit types, because uh, then it gives us the actual correct line. Right. And around 10 minutes left. Why is that one? How about I just change that to like, I don't know, tab. Oh yeah, and because it's, we'll make it fatter. Is this a quick and dirty cheat to explain uh, to demonstrate? 
Whoa. Okay, so they're just producing this periodically. So done something wrong. What is that? So it's block cooldown timer is greater than cooldown time. When we do this. Oh, I haven't actually said and also make sure you're pressing the button. And um input dot get the key down uh settings dot um block button right <laughs> I'm really good at this oh Okay. It's just creating them constantly. Oh. That's probably why. I'm so good at uh, <laughs> Well, now we won't attack, which is weird. Why will you not attack? Oh yeah, he does need to be moving to attack. Best fighting game ever. You have to be moving to attack. There we go. He is attacking. Bam. Right, what what did I this and that one's control that's control? It's oh, so there we go. Okay, so if I go bam, alt. No, come on. Get your shield up. Damn it! It's difficult playing two characters. <laughs> All right, so if, if you put some, put you, put your shield up. Why will you not put your shield up? Do you have to be moving to put your shield up? There we go. The blocking works. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Oh, I'm setting the cooldown right, yeah. Um... These should both be set to the... Um... Because I'm checking if it's over and I don't do that time. Yeah, that's... That's why. Uh, block duration timer, though. Yeah, wait. Yeah, no, that's what we want. Good, good. Um... We'll make it so that you can attack. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll make it so that you can attack in both directions. While it stood still, because it's funnier. How long have we got? Uh, three and a half minutes, cool. <laughs> All right, um, let's try and get some better controls then, I guess. Um, so we want player one to be on the one side and player two to be on the other. So, uh, player one controls, uh, your, yeah, okay, you get, we're going to give, uh, shift. Where is shift? Wait, it'd be left shift, isn't it? Left shift, there we go. Um, and player two, no, player two settings. Uh, we'll make the block button. Wait, well, actually, yeah, because they've got, they're only moving side to side, so we can just make the buttons. Okay, so the block button here is going to be down arrow. And we can actually just make the attack. Oh, yeah, we can change. Yeah, we can replace the attack axis with um, buttons. Cool. Um, wait. Yeah, because the whole having an axe is that that was stupid. Get key down. Okay, that makes us... Why? I'm such a dumbass. Okay, so the attack pattern f uh, button for this is going to be... Uh, up arrow. And the attack button for this is going to be space. There we go. Okay. Let's see if this works. Shit. Um... Okay, it doesn't quite work, um, but that's what we've got. So let's pause that real quick. So it doesn't work consistently. Like, so I'm pressing sideways and I press space to attack. Nothing happens. I keep slamming it. See, that's fine. And if I keep slamming shift, you will eventually come back up. But if I just, like, wait for a bit and then hit shift, nothing happens. Um, and again, if I just... Nothing really happens. So, we're done. But I do want to know why that's happening. So, do you tank? Okay. If it's bigger than or equal to. Well, 
Weird. Well, that's what we've got. Um, and that's it for uh, the last of our terrible one hour games. Hopefully it was as disappointing for you as it was for me. Bye.